In this proof, I know these two orange angles are congruent, the two blue ones are congruent, and I'm going to prove that the lines containing these segments are parallel. Well, I'm looking ahead to how I'm going to get there, and this is what I can visualize. If I had this drawing, I had alternate interior angles, congruent, therefore parallel lines, I know I'm headed towards the alternate interior angles converse. I'm going to keep this drawing up there. Just imagine that for a little bit. All that we need to get there is connect eh, these two angles. That's the key. Two and three, we remember this from a long time ago, those are vertical angles. So if two angles are vertical, they're congruent. Therefore, two is congruent to three. Now, one is congruent to two, two is congruent to three, three is congruent to four. That sounds like a good friend, the transitive property. Two angles are congruent to congruent angles, then they are congruent. That gives me angles one and four congruent. Now I know I have different tick marks here, because at the time I didn't know that two and three were congruent, but I'm going to change that right now. I'm going to modify it. So now I can see I've got four congruent angles. And right now I'm really just about done. So you see that this drawing is the same as this one down here. Okay, so I'll just, well, I'll just restore that. And now I'm going to come right to my conclusion. AB is parallel to CD. I'll put my little arrows in there and I'm going to give the reason. And that is the alternate interior angle converse. Or if you like, we're going to write out our shorthand. And there you go. In this proof, I'm starting with a pair of parallel lines, the blue ones, and a pair of congruent angles, two and three, and I'm going to prove that the purple lines are parallel. All right, let's get to it. I'm just going to list the first given. I could list them both, but I'm listing them as I use them. I'm looking at them now, and I'm thinking back to section 3-2, and I'm going to inject this angle. I could put it here, I could put it here. I just named it four, just at random. And I know that these two have a relationship with this transversal and the blue parallel lines. They are consecutive interior angles. And I know that theorem 3.3 tells me consecutive interior angles are supplementary from theorem or from section 3.2 in your textbook. Therefore, angles 2 and 4 are supplementary. Okay? Now, I'll throw in that second given right there. I'm throwing it in now. I, I keep track of them this way because now I'm going to use it. I'm going to combine this statement and this one. And I'm going to do something called substitution. Since 2 and 3 are, are congruent, I'm going to replace the angle 2 there with angle 3. And now angle 3 is supplementary to angle 4. Okay, so I've got these two supplementary. All of a sudden, the blue is the transversal. And that gives me a relationship between these two lines. And of course, that is that those two lines, the purple ones, are now parallel. C is parallel to D. And the reason, because I have consecutive interior angles that are supplementary, that proves the lines parallel. The key to this proof, this theorem, and its converse.